Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 4, Fundamental Theorem of Similarity. Okay, there was a class activity that we did in class, and I am not going to address that in this lesson. It is not in the lesson. It was done on a separate sheet of paper, so I'm just going to do the exercise here, the classwork exercise that followed my example. Um, and it shows this diagram here. And it says in the diagram below, point R and S, so where R is right here and S is right here, have been dilated from center O by a scale factor of R equals three. So there's our scale factor. So in other words, if this is a length of one, then O to R prime is one times three and so forth. So then down below it says, if OR equals, the length of OR equals 2.3 centimeters, what is the length of OR prime? So I like setting these up like algebraic equations. So I'm going to say OR prime, which is what we're trying to find, equals our scale factor R times our original segment OR. So it's OR prime equals three times the length of OR. So the length of OR prime equals three times. Now I say this to my students all the time. Write the formula, substitute in the givens, simplify, and solve. So I'm substituting now. So I'm going to replace OR with 2.3 centimeters. So then I'm going to say... OR prime equals 3 times 2.3, which is 6.9 centimeters. Okay, so I'm going to label this diagram as I go. So here is OR, and we were told it was 2.3 centimeters. 2.3 cm is from here to here, and OR prime is this one and that is 6.9 centimeters. Now we are told that OS, OS is right here, that is 3.5 centimeters, and we need to find what OS prime is, which is all the way down here. I need to know how long that is. So I'm going to write the formula. OS prime, the length of, OS prime equals our scale factor. Let me bring that back up there so I can see it. Our scale factor of three times the segment we're dilating, which is 3.5 centimeters. But before I do that, I need to write it as the name, write the formula, three times our segment OS. So now I'm going to simplify this or substitute in my givens, and OS is 3.5 centimeters. So the length of OS prime is three times five is 15, carry the one, three times three is nine, plus that one is 10.5 centimeters. So if I move back up here and label this whole distance, it is 10.5 cm. So there are the three, four measures. Two were given, two were scaled. C, connect the point R to the point S and the point R prime to the point S prime. Okay, so we want to connect R to S. So let me get rid of all this stuff from the explanation. Start fresh. So in order to connect, I'm going to need a ruler so that it is accurate. And I, they say to connect R to S. So if I put my ruler right at zero here, rotate it so I'm going through S, there is the segment RS that they asked us to draw. It also said, so that's connect point R to S and R prime to S prime. So I will do that in a different color. I'll do that in green, R prime to S prime.
and there we have it. Now notice I did not have to move my ruler. And this ruler has a built-in angle measure. So I angled it from zero down 12 degrees to draw this line segment. And then I move my ruler and that 12 degrees never changed. Okay, so it is still decreasing at a rate of 12 degrees. So notice that lined right up. I never had to move my ruler. So that's what we're leading to here. So there's the segment RS. Here's R prime S prime. So we've done that. Now is answering a question about that. What do you know about the lines that contain segment RS and R prime S prime? I would say RS is parallel to R prime S prime. Now D says, what is the relationship between the length of the segment RS and the length of segment R prime S prime? So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to measure these. So if I measure R prime or RS as accurately as possible, put that right on zero, that is 30, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that looks like 38 millimeters. RS is 38 millimeters. So I'm going to write here the length of RS equals 38 millimeters. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to measure R prime S prime. And that is 110, 11, 12, 112 millimeters. So the length of R prime S prime is 112 millimeters okay now it's saying what is the relationship between these lengths well if I compare 38 and 112 a relationship is written as a ratio I'm comparing two values if I reduce that 38 divided by 2 is 19 and 112 divided by 2 is 56. 19's prime, I can't reduce any further, but 19 times 4, not 4, 19 times 3 is 57. Okay, so I'm off by like a half a millimeter on each. So I'm just trying to show you that it's a multiple of 3. So 38 times 3 would come out to be 114. So my measurements are either off. So if I measure from that again, that is 112 and a half or 113. And maybe this one was less than 34, more like 35, 6, 7. No, it's about 38. Okay. Anyhow. The relationship between them is I have to multiply one by three to get the other, which is our R, our scale factor. Okay, so the one is three times as long as the other. It's off by just a little bit, but that's probably because of scaling and converting this PDF into a smart doc. Okay, so E, it says identify pairs of angles that are equal and measure, and how do you know that they are equal? So if I come back here and I move this out of the way, all right, what angle measures are we looking at? We're looking at angle SRR prime. So I can measure that. So I can say the measure of angle SRR prime equals. So SRR prime is right here. And I'm going to measure that with a protractor. So if I bring my protractor down and put it right on there, rotate it around so that that is right on 180 or zero, which right about there. And then I move this over to, to our prime. Then it looks like it is, now look, it's obtuse. So it can't be 70 degrees. I have to look outside, and that is 110 degrees. OK. 
Okay, now if I go back and I move my protractor, To here and put it right on our prime and make sure this line here is right on right there then you see that it is also 70 degrees or not 70 the 110 degrees the obtuse angle so now I can say the measure of angle and I go back and name that properly moving this out of the way, I don't have a point over here. So I need to name that something I'm going to name this. So if I put a dot over here and call it T, then this is angle S prime, R prime, T. So I'm going to call that angle S prime, R prime, T. And that also equaled 110 degrees. So if you look back at this, if these two lines are parallel, like we said they were, then the ray here, O R prime, is a trans, it, it, it crosses these two lines here. So it is a transversal. So these are corresponding angles and corresponding angles are congruent. Now I'm going to measure angle R S S prime. So I'm going to write that over here, the measure of angle R S S prime equals, and I go back and measure that, bring this down, put it right on S, move this over to S right there, and that angle is obviously greater than 90 degrees, so I need to look at the larger number here, which is 150 degrees. So that is 150 degrees. And then when I go back to the diagram, they want us to measure R prime, S prime. I need another dot over here to name it. I use T, how about U? So I'm going to call that angle R prime, S prime, U is right here. So the measure of angle R prime, S prime, U equals, now if I go back and put my protractor on there, put the crosshairs right there, then you can see that it too is 150 degrees. This blue line is right here, and there's my angle measure. So that as, is as well 150 degrees. Okay, identify the pairs of angles that are equal in measure. How do you know they are equal? They are equal, I'm not going to write this, I'm just going to say it. They're equal because we have two parallel lines, RS and R prime S prime are parallel. So whenever we want to identify a parallel line, we put a little arrow there indicating parallel. And when they're parallel, cut by a transversal, then we are forming corresponding angles. This angle corresponds to this angle, and angle S R R prime corresponds to angle S prime R prime T. So since they are corresponding angles on parallel lines, they are congruent. And that is the end of lesson four. That was a short lesson. Read over the lesson summary and go do your problem set.